what's up y'all welcome back y'all already know the vibes we back with another tea with tea but this is spooky edition okay so y'all know the vibes before we get into the video leave a thumbs up a comment comment anything and make sure y'all subscribe with your bell notifications on okay first story starts off by saying hey i'm sending in three to four stories this time ever since i was able to walk and talk i have had an imaginary friend my friend's name was darla Darla appeared older than I was. Around this time, between the ages of five to seven, I used to make my parents fix breakfast, lunch, and dinner for her, just like they would for me and my siblings. No one else could see her, but you could not tell me she was not real. One day, Darla came up to me and she told me that the house she lived in with her grandma was set fire by a bad man. I begged my mom to let Darla stay with us until her grandma found somewhere for them to go. Darla stayed with us for about three weeks, then went back to her grandmother's house. On another day, Darla came to me and said she couldn't talk to me for a while because her grandma was sending her to jail for talking back. She was only talking back because her grandma didn't believe her about a bad man touching her inappropriately. Darla went back home and I didn't see her for a few months. When she came back, she was crying and she told me she would never be able to see me again because her grandma was putting her out. She had gotten pregnant. I cried and told her to tell my parents to let her stay and she wouldn't. She cried and her last words to me were, in another life. I cried and I never forgot that until this day. Fast forward, everything that happened to her happened to me. My uncle's friend tried to rob us and set our house on fire when I was nine. My mom's boyfriend sent me to jail on my 20th birthday. And my mom didn't believe me when I told her I was S-A'd. I got pregnant at 16 and my mom kicked me out. Literally everything that happened to her happened to me when I got older. I think about her because it's like she was a part of me. That is crazy. What if that was literally another piece of you? Like, I don't wanna sound crazy, but a lot of things really go deep. That is a crazy story and is no coincidence. So the part I'm confused about is um, when she stayed with y'all for three weeks, like, did your parents know? Was it that like a you and her thing? Did your parents think that it was just your imaginary friend or something like that? I don't know. Okay, let's get into this next story. Okay, so the next story is from the same person. They didn't say whether or not they wanted me to say their name though. So I just keep it anonymous. They start off by saying this story is about my mom. When my mom was little, she would always sleep in the room with my uncles because she was the only girl at the time. One night while she was sleeping, my mom heard my uncle call to wake her up. She woke up and she saw my uncle looking down at her. He had a beautiful black bright glow behind him. My uncle told her to get up and to come with him. My mom looked over my uncle's bed and saw that my uncle was actually in bed. She was talking to a spirit. My mom told the spirit that she wanted to stay with my grandma. The spirit looked at her and said, you can stay this time, but next time I come back, you have to come with me. She said, okay, and went to sleep. The next morning, she told my grandma about the situation. My grandma said she was glad my mom said no because she wouldn't have saw her anymore. A few years after this happened, my uncle was unalived, the same uncle who came to her as a spirit. My mom sometimes feel like his death was her fault till this day. That is crazy. Okay, so when I was first reading it, I thought, I was gonna say it sounded like the uncle astral projected, but then everything else that happened with what the grandma said, it sound like, yeah, that was a, that was kind of like a premonition thing because what? Well, you said a few years after, I don't know. See, I don't know, maybe not because a few years after, I feel like that's a long time. I feel like if stuff like that happens and it's like an impending doom, it happens like right after almost. But this happened, he was unalived a few years later. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of this stuff gets real deep. Let's get into the last story. Hey T, this is Interesting Logic from YouTube. Actual name, Courtney. Hey Courtney girl. I wanted to tell you a story about how two of my family members and I were visited by a spirit. I'm also using fake names so the story is easy to, easier to tell. I was really close to my father's ex-spouse to the point where I called her my stepmom even though they hadn't been together in years. 
My stepmom, Jessica, and I were really close. Every weekend, we would go visit her mother to the point where I considered her mom a third grandma to me. Jessica's mother became very ill and we slowly started losing her. I would go with my stepmom to visit her mom, but she was slowly forgetting who we were. Jessica also had a sister named Natasha, but she didn't help her mother like Jessica did. Towards the end, her mom was bedridden and put on life support. They had to make a tough decision on whether or not to pull the cord or take her off of life support and let nature take its course. When all of this was happening, I was not told that she was taking off a of life support. But the same day she was taking off, I woke up in the middle of the night around three or four in the morning. I swear it felt like a spirit left my body. When I woke up, I just knew she must have passed away, but I didn't want to believe it. I called Jessica throughout the day and it wasn't until the afternoon that she answered my call and told me that her mom passed. Months later, I was talking to Jessica about that night. She said she got a dream about her mom being taken off of life support. In her dream, her mom was saying goodbye and that she loved her. Jessica then told me the same night when she woke up from that dream, Natasha was screaming to the top of her lungs. Jessica told me that she believes it was her mom trying to take her since she didn't do right by her. We didn't have any more occurrences after that. I just find it so crazy that we both had different experiences around the same time that night being visited by her mother. I swear I think she was trying to tell us goodbye. That's crazy. She definitely might have been t trying to tell y'all goodbye because that's not a coincidence. And they say that um, three to five, those are the times that the other side is very, very active. So I do believe that. That is a crazy story. She also has another short story. Let's get into that one. Another story I have is about my actual grandmother. My grandma used to wake up telling my family about her dreams. We just wrote it off as her being a little crazy. One time my grandma woke up crying from one of her naps. Me and my grandfather asked her what was wrong. She said that my grandfather and her oldest son both have new younger girlfriends and that my uncle has now has a new baby. At the time, my grandfather literally called her crazy because he wasn't with anyone and my uncle was going through a divorce. He's about 40 to 50 at the time. His youngest son was about eight or nine, not a baby. So when I heard her telling her dream, I started thinking she was crazy and I kept telling her none of that had happened. Fast forward to after her death, my grandfather is dating someone a couple of years younger than him and his oldest son is dating a really young woman and got her pregnant. With him having a newborn at an older age, I realized all the times my grandma had those crazy dreams, I think she could tell us what was gonna happen in the future because whatever she talked about ended up happening. Even now for me, I get dreams that are so realistic and I start writing them down. And a couple of months later, the dream will come true, exactly how I dreamt it. I don't know if it's technically a gift or not, but I started getting dreams of stuff that actually started happening to me. Most recently, I got hired at a new job. Soon after I got a job, I had a dream that I got fired. Literally like a month later, I was told that I didn't, that I was not needed anymore. Their excuse was me literally being two to five minutes late to work, which I found was BS. But I think that my dream happened to prepare me and show me I didn't need that job anyway. But I don't know if these experiences are completely paranormal, but I felt like there was something supernatural going on. By the way, I love how great you are at responding to supporters, and I'm glad to be a part of the fam. Thank you so much for sending in your story. Now, these stories that I've read, they're actually very old stories. They're old stories from last year that I was supposed to do. Because I didn't do it last year, I thought that I would still give y'all a chance to get y'all stories out and read them this year because I'm actively doing Vlogtober. And I really appreciate y'all for even sending y'all stories in last year. Let me know if y'all would like longer stories for these type of videos. I really appreciate y'all tuning in, snuggling up, and listening to the little spooky tea. I really appreciate it. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Y'all already know the vibes. I love y'all so, so, so much. And I'm going to see y'all in my next one. Bye.